Hi, this is Sarah from This Savvy Professor, and in today's video, we'll discuss resetting an unresponsive fire stick. But first, what does an unresponsive fire stick mean? An unresponsive fire stick indicates that your device is malfunctioning or frozen. The following are some of the common causes of unresponsiveness. Remote problems, HDMI connection, or no internet connection on your Fire Stick. Now, let's look at the best solutions you can apply to fix unresponsiveness. Check your remote. Inspect your remote control as dead batteries can render your Fire TV Stick unresponsive. Verify the battery status and ensure your remote is correctly paired with your Fire TV Stick. Press and hold the Select button, the Middle button with the circle, and the Play or Pause button simultaneously on your Fire TV remote for about 5 seconds. This action will force your Fire Stick to restart, allowing it to reboot and potentially resolve unresponsiveness. Verify your HDMI connection. If you're only seeing a black screen, it may indicate an HDMI problem. Try plugging the Fire TV device into an alternative HDMI input on your TV to rule out port issues. Ensure you select the correct HDMI input on your television to match the port where the Fire TV stick is connected. This step can prevent display issues and ensure proper signal transmission. If you're using an HDMI cable or extension, try using a different one to eliminate potential cable faults that could be causing the black screen. Ensure all connections are secure and undamaged for optimal performance. Verify Fire Stick Internet Connectivity Restart your router and Fire Stick to refresh the connection and resolve any temporary network glitches affecting connectivity. Ensure that your router is within the optimal range of the Fire Stick to maintain a strong and stable Wi-Fi signal. Try connecting your Fire Stick to a different Wi-Fi network to determine if the issue lies with the specific network configuration. If connectivity issues persist, consider resetting your Fire Stick to factory defaults as a final troubleshooting step. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Till next time.